Hey ghouls, Terry Krieger, the sweetest psychopath you'll ever meet, and welcome back to my channel. Alright, I started off with the MAC Half Red Lip Liner, and I'm gonna just kind of use this as a base to start. I'm going into this color first to kind of start smoking it out, and then I'm gonna go into Lolita to deepen it up. I'm gonna take this shade right here and kind of smoke that into this other side like I did over here. Start from the bottom and bring it up. I already feel like this color is a bit patchy. As you see, it's kind of skipped right here. And over here, when I had put it up here, um, it kind of skipped in this area. And on this side, it's skipping at the bottom. Let's see if I could make it work though end of this and go into this really like kind of lavendery powder white color and that same color I'm gonna bring it down over here now I'm gonna go into this color right here the one next to it with a little flat brush and kind of use that to pat all over the lid I'm going to go into the darkest color in the palette, do a V from here and up. I it again and try to build it up just a little more because I feel this side looks more purple than this side. I feel like this part is just being really weird. I'm going to take another clean brush to hit that really light shade again and kind of try to blend this out. I don't know if you can see, but it is kind of, it's look really patchy, like nothing is sticking on or staying as I'm blending it out on this side. And I don't know, I just don't feel like the palette's that consistent, but I'm gonna try to make it work. So let's, I'm gonna go back into this shade. I'm gonna take a little bit and kind of sort of blend it up over my eye. I'm gonna take some more Lolita too. The Lolita shade's working pretty okay, like, and I think that actually kind of helped this. I'm gonna, and this part will not blend out as hard as I'm trying. And then right here, it just skips, and I like there's no more shadow, but <sighs> I'm trying to make it look even as best as I can. Okay. Let's see how that looks. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add some finishing touches around the eye, then we'll get back to it, and then we'll go into the other products I did get from this collection. And I'm back. I went ahead and added some Mummy Lash Blush Horror Classic Lashes, and I did add a purple glitter on top just to spice it up a bit because it was kind of dull for me, and I do have somewhere to go right now. Um, I just have half red lip liner, lipstick on my lip right now. Um, the palette overall, I mean, it's cute. I know the color Lolita was really, really popular when um, it first launched, I mean, the lipstick. Um, I feel like it's a little late, honestly. Like, Lolita came out, like, what, five years ago? Maybe more? I don't know. But, and then there was a Lolita single shade, which, there's a Lolita shade in here, but I feel like the single is probably darker because I felt like I liked it better when I saw the single, and then when I got it in the palette, I was kind of like, mm, I have a ton of things like that. Um... Honestly, my overall opinion on this palette is, eh, like, it's nothing special, it's not horrible, horrible, but, like, it's not anything special. Um, a lot of the colors I did feel kind of, um, so, like, some of the colors in here, I feel like this one and this one really kind of, like, skipped around. The only place the last two shades worked really well was, um, I put them both on the bottom part of my eye to smoke into the liner. Other than that, um, they were kind of patchy and skipped around. I did have to uh, go on other colors and pat them in and blend it out. Um, another thing I noticed too, um, I almost, I, I think I used every single color in the palette except this one, but I feel like it did kind of all just come together and not 
and look kind of like I used two shadows to do a quick look. I don't know, like I really wanted to like this because I love mauve and I love these kind of purpley shades, but I feel like it did just blend all together. I used this really, really light shade to highlight my brow and the inner corners of my eye. And then I used this shade, the second one, to put all over my lid and it just kind of faded out. Didn't it didn't really show up, it just kind of looked like my oh shit. <laughs> it just kind of looked like my makeup wasn't complete, that's why I kind of added some purple glitter on top of it. Same size as uh, the Pastel Goth and the Divine Palette. If you go back to my channel, I think the Divine Palette is like one of the second videos I ever did and I of a terrible mess in that video. <laughs> I actually really like the Pastel Goth palette. The Divine palette, the quality is good. I just, and if you've watched my channel before, you kind of know how I feel about this and her pathetic attempt just to rake in gay coin. Um, the Pastel Goth palette was pretty cute. Um, I did like it a lot for like the greenish and the bluish shades. Um, I actually have not used this in quite some time, but um, I did like this palette when it came out. To be honest, the only reason I got this palette is because um, it's the Rouge event where if you spend 75 or more, you got $25 off. And I had a gift card. Honestly, I was walking around, the, there was really nothing new I wanted. The only thing that I was like, I need to have was the new Fenty Fussy Lip Gloss. Other than that, I was kind of just like, eh, nothing else really caught my eye. But then I was like, oh look, some new Kat Von D shit came out. I did get some of the new Patrick Star uh, stuff from the MAC collection. Initially, when I saw the video of the launch or anything, I was like, next, boring, whatever. Then I swatched this in person, which is, baby, it's gold outside. And I swatched that. And I was like, okay. Take a little bit of it with my little ice cream brush and just kind of warm the cheek a little bit. Like, I'm not sure, like, I, I, everyone kept saying it was a bronzer, but, I don't know, I feel like I'm dark enough, I could kind of use it as a highlighter and it'd be okay. I thought the color was really, really gorgeous. This one is called Spank Me Santa. And I was, I'm gonna go ahead and add Lolita on it, like where I would normally add my lip gloss. I do have two of these, I have the one in blue and the one in pink, and I've honestly only ever used the blue one once. And I went out for like a couple hours, it wasn't even that long, so um, for as long as it was on my lips, it didn't bother me too well. It didn't bother me too much, so I've never, um, I'm about to go out for like a whole day, so let's see how these last. Hopefully it doesn't feel too bad since I'm putting it on top of something else. Pretty. The color looks really, really cool. Honestly, I wish she would have come out with like a Kat Von D Lolita glitter lip gloss. I would have loved that so much more than these, because I already feel my lips getting really dry. It's already sucking the life out of my lip. Um, I'm going to go in with the Fenty lip gloss and Fussy and put that on top of it. So my overall thoughts on the palette is kind of just like, eh. Like, it's not horrible, but it's not great. If it's something you really want, then why not? If it's something you are on the fence about, you're not going to miss anything if you skip out on it. <laughs> the Glitterville is cute, like if you don't mind wearing anything matte and using it to lip top your lips, then why not? Um, I liked it a lot better once I put the gloss on top of it, which was the Fenty uh, Fussy Gloss. Um, and I did use the Patrick Star Baby It's Gold Outside Highlight and the Spank Me Santa Lipstick. The way I feel about Kat Von D is like the way I feel about Madonna. Um, like, I don't like Madonna, but some of her music's pretty okay. Um, like, Kat, Kat Von D, like, I don't like her, but some of her makeup's okay. <laughs> but whatever your opinion on Kat Von D is, uh, this is about the makeup and not the bitch herself. So, overall, her work, at, her makeup in the past has been way better. I don't know if I ever mentioned on this channel about how my house is haunted. And last night was some crazy shit. Um, I fell asleep a little before midnight I want to say and me and my dog are just chilling crashed out knocked out already and then I wake up because someone for like someone aggressively grabbed my knee really really hard and so hard that it woke me up and I kind of like opened my eyes and like it was seriously it was so hard that it woke me up and I was like wide awake I wasn't like groggy or anything like it grabbed me and I woke up like if someone slapped me in the face or something I don't know but it was dark in my room, but I have this alarm clock that's super fucking bright, so it kind of honestly feels like a mini nightlight, just how bright that fucking thing is. And I was staring like at my, my doorway, 
and someone was just standing there and I kind of just stared at them for a moment because I was just more confused about like what the fuck I could tell they were wearing like a light blue shirt and then I had no idea who it was so I was kind of just staring at them and then I'm like hello oh they took a step back turned around and walked out of the room that's when I instantly just got up to go chase um whatever it was but there was no one there and it didn't feel like a bad presence like I have had before in this house it was just really really odd and I don't know I want to say like I don't know it didn't feel like a threatening thing like once I saw nothing was the house and I was kind of like oh it's a ghost I just cut up my dog and went back to bed because like it didn't leave me with an ugly feeling if it was malicious or anything it was just kind of hanging around for some reason tried to wake me up but woke me up I fucking freak out if later I'm like editing this video and like you see a ghost peeking out from the wigs or some shit <laughs> that'd be hilarious but, but anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed me hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and until the next time I'll see you ghouls <laughs>